today i will be speaking about seizures and epilepsy seizures are abnormal excessive hypersynchronous electrical activity in the brain cells called as neurons this can lead to the tonic clonic movement of the body or with or without loss of consciousness most of the time seizures last for about 1 to 2 minutes sometimes it can last for more than 5 minutes also when you see any patient with the tonic clonic movement or to and fro movements of the upper limbs or lower limbs associated with tongue bite uprolling of the eyes with or without involuntary micturition or defecation you can identify that patient has got a seizures immediately when you identify the patient with seizures do not panic and keep the patient in the safe environment means you remove any hazardous items or dangerous items which are present surrounding the patient when move the patient to the right or left lateral position with the head and chin down so that the oral secretions comes out and patient do not aspirate the secretions keep any of these handkerchief or a soft items in between the teeth so that the patient do not bite his tongue do not restrain the patient do not give any liquids or medications orally when the patient is having seizures or when the patient is in the postictal confused state if you see any patient with seizures lasting for more than 5 minutes or if there are two episodes of seizures happening in a span of 30 minutes without regaining the consciousness it is called status epilepticus status epilepticus is a emergency situation immediately the patient should be rushed to the emergency facility where the neurologist is available once the patient arrives to the emergency the eye witness who has seen the seizures should interact with the neurologist and give the appropriate history the time of onset of the seizures and the type of seizures will be known by the neurologist and the appropriate medications will be given to the patient